so hello guys in this video we are going to solve this problem so in this problem it is given that f of x plus y plus z is equal to f of x multiply by f of y multiply by f of z where x y and z belongs to real number and f of 2 value is equal to 4 and f dash 0 value is equal to 3 then the uh, problem is we have to find the number of possible values of f of 0 and the sum of digits of f dash 2 so uh, this is the problem so let's see how we can solve this so first of all uh, you see uh, uh, this relation so we have this relation where x y and z are real number and we have the value of f of 2 and f dash 0 so how we can use this f of 2 value to uh, get the f of 0 value so this is the thing we have to see so we have this relation if you put y and z is equal to minus 1, so you will get this relation like f of x minus 2 is equal to f of x multiplied by f of minus 1 multiplied by f of minus 1. Now if you put x is equal to 2, you will get f of 0 is equal to f of 2 and here f of minus 1, f of minus 1. So this thing uh, will come uh, like f of 2 multiplied by f of minus 1 whole square and f of 2 value is 4 which is given in the problem. So f of 0 value is equal to 4 times f of minus 1 whole square but we don't know like f of minus 1 value we don't know this but uh, here we have f of minus 1 whole square so this thing uh, will always greater than equal to 0 this we can say this thing will always greater than equal to 0 because any number whole square is always greater than equal to 0 so we can say this the next thing you can do you have this relation uh, which is given in the problem so if, what you can do you can put x is equal to 2 y is equal to 0 and z is equal to 0 so you will get f of 2 is equal to f of 2 multiplied by f of 0 whole square now f of 2 uh, value is given as uh, 4 so uh, this will cancel and f of 0 whole square is equal to 1 so there are two possible value one is plus 1 and another is minus 1 but we know f of 0 is greater than or equal to 0. So the only possible answer is f of 0 is equal to 1. So this is the only possible value of f of 0. So f of 0 is equal to 1. So this is the answer of our first problem. So uh, the problem is number of possible values of f of 0. So the there is only one possible value which is uh, 1. The second problem is we have to find the sum of digits of f dash 2. So uh, you see we have this relation. If you put y is equal to 2 and z is equal to 0, so uh, this is 2. So y is equal to 2 and z is equal to 0, so you will get f of x plus 2 is equal to f of x multiplied by f of 2 multiplied by f of 0. Now this we know this is equal to 1, this we know this is equal to 4 which is given in the problem and we have this relation. Now uh, you can differentiate both the, both the side and you will get f dash of x plus 2 is equal to 4 times f dash x. We have to find out the value of f dash 2 and you see in the problem it is uh, given that f dash 0 value is equal to 3. So what we can do, uh, we can put uh, x is equal to 0 here. So you will get uh, this f dash 2 uh, is equal to 4 times f dash 0 and f dash 0 value is uh, 3 which is given in the problem. So you can put that here and you will get f dash 2 value as 12. Now you have to find the sum of digits of this number. So this is 1 plus 2 which is 3. So this is the answer of second problem. So in this way uh, using this relation we find out the number of possible values of f of 0 which is 1 and sum of digits of f dash 2 which is 3. So in this way we can solve this problem.